What's up, everybody? Back again, George with Warp Charge Gaming here with my friend Hagen. How you doing, Hagen? Doing all right. How about yourself? I'm good. Ready for some battling. Uh, we got a bunch of hordes of demons today. Uh, there is a lot of models that are going to be on the table. Uh, you brought Nurgle and Death Guard. Yeah. Primarily Death Guard. Yeah, with a little bit of corn in there. A little bit of corn. We're both taking some mixed chaos. Uh, I also will be taking um, demons, but mine will be corn primarily and a bunch of blood letters with uh, pretty much just some, some screens with some Nurglings and a few different characters there to help out on the battlefield. Uh, we're doing ITC missions, ITC mission one. There's six objectives on the battlefield. And each turn on the primary, we'll be trying to score at least one objective to get one point and kill at least one unit to get one point. And at the end of the battle round, it'll be who killed more and who scored more for an additional one point each on those. Uh, we also chose three secondaries apiece from an option about 12 of them. Yeah. Um, we chose mostly the same we ones. We chose mostly <laughs> the same ones because our stuff is very aligned. Uh, we both chose Reaper to kill every 20 models worth one point. Uh, then we did Headhunter. Headhunter. He has seven characters. I have six. Yep. And finally, you went recon yeah. to be in all four sectors of the board, and I went with uh, ground control to hold objectives at the end of the game. Even though he has a ton of bodies, uh, I'm going to see if I can still stick around at the end and have more. Um, and then, of course, the poxwalkers. Anytime a body is removed when you're next, like how's how's your uh, poxwalkers return situation work? So every time a poxwalker kills an infantry model, yeah, if they've lost any models below their starting unit value yeah they get a model back it so, just replaces it and so it's endless you don't have to pay points for it that's a big dynamic of this game in addition you have a command point that can uh, have any units yeah. within seven inches take any losses you can gain more back that way as well right so pretty nasty they, it could be the endless horde i'm gonna have to remove the units to not suffer such yeah. situations um so we'll show you guys the armies here in a second cool thing is um you know the itc just came out with a new way of best faction scoring and in this case it, it's an interesting uh, example because now you can score best faction if all your detachments are pure and that can be for uh any of the four chaos gods as well nurgle corn zinch uh, or slanesh but both of us in this case, we have mixed attachments and would have to be uh, going for just chaos as an overall. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the dynamics change going forward. We actually have an ITC official tournament this weekend here at Battlegrounds where we're hosting live in Midlothian, Virginia. And that's going to be an ITC tournament uh, through Best Coast Pairing, about a 40-man tournament. Looking forward to that. And that'll give people a chance for their first times to score uh, as best faction with pure armies. Yeah. So pretty cool. Hopefully we you, see You did a... something like that at uh, the doubles tournament a couple months ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, where you had a uh, best faction for, and you know, if you were not a pure faction, then you yeah. would be mixed. Uh, I always like uh, competing for faction. It adds more dynamic to who is win and loss and not just at the top dogs. And some factions, of course, don't have the kind of same strength as others when being pure, and you can still have something to enjoy for running a fluffy or pure army, you know? But let's show them what we're working with. Guys, we're live right. on Twitch, obviously. So excuse any shaky cam or anything like that. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for tuning in there. Make sure you hit the subscribe button we surely appreciate it i'm gonna jump over with this camera here we're gonna start with the uh, death guard nurgle situation as i orient the camera uh go ahead and get us started on what's going on here with all these bodies it's really simple i have six 20 man squads of pox walkers okay just for the staying power and i'm a big zombie fan they're great right uh, i have typhus his psychic powers are miasma pestilence and putrescent vitality if every Poxwalker unit he's within seven inches of, mm -hmm. it's plus one to their strength and toughness. Oh, that's great. So they'll all be strength and toughness four, hopefully. That's definitely way better than not toughness four and strength yeah. toughness four. <laughs> Best part is I got a way to get him up to uh, strength and toughness five. Okay. Uh, and I have Necrosius the Undying. He has Curse of the Leper and Gift of Contagion. Mm -hmm. uh, he lets the Poxwalkers reroll Feel No Pains of one. This is disgustingly resilient. This is good. This is good. Yep. And then over here, I have my Spoil Pox Scrivener and a Herald of Nurgle, the Poxbringer. He's also taking my Asthma Pestilence in case Typhus dies. Okay. I have a 30-man squad of Plague Bearers with a Icon and a Instrument. Yep. Uh, three squads of Nurglings. And then I have Supreme Command of Corn Demons. I have two Demon Princes of Corn, both with wings. One has the uh, Skull Reaver Axe, and yep. the other one has the Malefic Talons. And then I have a uh, Skullmaster, the Juggernaut one. Uh-huh. Just on his juggernaut, plain and simple. 
Cool. Yeah, they, uh, and the Skull Master, I believe, gives you plus one strength to corn units. I believe so. Yeah, and then the uh, the instrument and icon he has on his Plague Bear, something I also have on my demon units, and that gives him plus one to advance and charge, and uh, he gives him the chance on morale checks on rolls of one to actually gain D6 models back as reality blinks. Here is my Horde of corn with their support detachments uh, or of units of uh, Nurglings here to keep away the smite in case that was something I was going up against. I don't like uh, my, my demons getting mortal wound to death and Nurglings are great at sucking up the smite. Uh, six units, there's three battalions here, six units of three Nurglings, which makes a total of 72 wounds to take all those off the board. They have an infiltrate type mechanic that as I deploy them, I can deploy them anywhere on the board more than nine inches away from enemy models and outside the enemy deployment zone. And then we also are going to have a Skull Master riding a Juggernaut of Corn. He's going to be my uh, Warlord. He has Rage Incarnate to give reroll ones uh, to hit to all Corn Demons. And he also has the Crimson Crown that makes it on sixes to wound, uh, create additional attacks, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then going forward, I actually have to get my little spreadsheet here to try to remember everything. We have uh, a Blood Master, which is just a plus one strength to Corn Units. Uh, we also have, uh, we got the Skull Taker, and I'm going to use this uh, cool Slaughter Priest from Age of Sigmar as my Skull Taker, and he lets me get um, plus one to hit, yeah, Locus of Rage, I can reroll charges, now, now both, I have one Corn Pure Battalion, and that activates, uh, gives me the Locus of Rage on those characters, yeah. and those, those two characters, which is going to be the uh, Skull Master and Skull Taker. Let them reroll charges to units within six. They've got the Locus of Corn for plus one strength on both the Skull Master and the Blood Master. And the Rage Incarnate Warlord rerolled once uh, to hit. So that's cool. There's going to be a Change Caster in there, and I'm taking him just for the Weaver of Fates to get a free reroll each turn. Uh, also gets a deny right on. That's not a bad thing. We have also a Demon Prince of Corn, uh, like Hagen does, that has the Skull Reaver out there to be a Titan Slayer and just a straight up a mean guy. Uh, then there's going to be three units of 30 blood letters. When they're above 20, they're going to get plus one to hit. One of them is going to be upgraded with a banner of blood to get a 3d6 charge once per game. They all got the icons and instruments. And there is one 20-man squad of blood letters as well for a total of 110 blood letters. We also have Scarbrand here. He's a beast. Scarbrand has uh, rage embodied. All units within eight of him uh, do not take morale checks and add one to their attacks. And anybody that's within three of Scarbrand has to roll 3d6 leadership check if they want to get out of a combat in order to fall back. Uh, that is generally the gist there, guys. It's just a bunch of bodies looking to slam hard with Scarbrand and the, un uh, what is it called? The Unstoppable Ferocity. I could get a total of three attacks per blood letter if I'm within range of Scarbrand. Corn, anytime they're charged, are charged, uh, they charge, are charged, or heroically intervene, they get plus one attack and plus one strength. So I hope to use that to my benefit. Let's show you guys the battlefield today. Excited to play with our new terrain set that we have uh, printed and painted up from Tabletop Alchemy. This is the World's Overrun set, the Thornhive Megama. So uh, kind of a nurgled out board here. It's going to be pretty sweet. And we are working with a hammer and anvil style deployment zone. I've got a little visual here for you. Uh, I don't think we've actually chose sides yet. I rolled for the random deployment zone as per the packet. And I, oh, I chose this side over here. So here's me. Uh, because I chose my side, I believe you get to place the first model? I believe so, yeah. All right, so we begin, guys. Turn one, Nurgle versus Corn. All right, so uh, I'll just go ahead and put down my unit of Plague Bearers first. All righty. Because I don't plan on moving them a lot this game. Gotcha. Yeah. And I uh, think I forgot to mention it that uh, Typhus is my Warlord. Okay. 10-4. Neither of us took uh, old school, so... The Warlord specifically doesn't grant us any additional abilities, but they each have uh, some stuff we would prefer to not be around on the board, I'm sure. So Hagen's starting with some Plague Bearers. Because he doesn't have any guns, I'm not really thinking I'm going to do any Denizens of the Warp. But he's going to have so many bodies as well with board control, I, I don't want to get cut off from deploying where I want to. I think I'll be just as well off to foot slog. Might be turn two or three by the time we get in combat. Right. Uh, my first drop is going to be some Nurglings. And 
I have to be outside of nine of your deployment zone, yeah? Yes. So we get that figured out. There's 24. So a ruler for nine. So where that orange dice is, is 24? Yeah, cool. pretty much. Uh, so the first unit of Nurgling, I'm actually going to put, let's say that we just can't go inside this thing just yeah. to make our life easy. Uh, and you can't see through the holes. ITC style. Uh, I'm going to be up here just to be kind of a blocking mechanism to where you can put your Nurglings. Okay. All right. So to you. I'll put down a unit of Nurglings. Cool. I can show you my deployment zone here. There's 24. And then nine off of that would be about there. This unit of Nurglings will go right here and snag this objective. Cool. Just staying outside of nine of yours. Yep. Sensible. Let's keep playing with Nurglings. <laughs> I'm going to grab some more. The most exciting deployment phase ever. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll go ahead and grab this objective this time. All right, back to you. Cool. And uh, where's your deployment zone at again? 24 is here, so nine past that. Nine past that. So here. So I'll put them on this side of this. Okay. More Nurglings. We're so sleuthy. Uh, well, I'm going to run out of Nurglings before you do. <laughs> I'm going to stop you from doing that same thing over here by putting my own unit this way. Cool. I'm putting them relatively in line with yours because that should be about the same distance. Yep. Back to you. I gotta decide where I want these nerd ones. So they're gonna go right here with their buddies. All right, gonna back them up. We're gonna take our next unit of three. We'll go ahead and uh, grab this objective up. Do the uh, Poxwalkers have any deep striking mechanics? No. Okay. They're walking. Cool. Uh, I'll put down my uh, Poxbringer. It's right here. Go ahead and do another unit of Nurglings right here. My Scrivener will go right next to the Poxbringer. Excellent. So I started out with 18 C CP. I'm buying an extra relic, so I'm down to 17 CP, taking both the Crimson Crown and the Skull Reaver. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, just have a little bit of backfield utility. I don't really need to. I was thinking about putting some Nurglings in Deep Strike, but I think in this matchup it's not really required. Uh, I will go ahead and put another unit backing up the middle like you did. Cool. Um, you do have Plague Bears. Did you put your Plague No, they're out on the ground? Yeah, they're yeah. down there. All right, sure. Yeah. Um, and I start with 14 CP, but I'm down to 13. The Herald has the Corruption Blade, and my Demon Prince has Skull Reaver. Okay. I'm actually going to put these guys back here in my backfield. Okay. Cool. I'm set. Back to you. Uh, put down the first unit of 20 Poxwalkers. Haha, <laughs> hey guys. Yeah, I'm alive. I know it's been a uh, little bit of a hiatus with Adepticon that just went down. Had a wedding the week before that. We're about to pump out a ton of content, guys. This is uh, not Thousand Suns on my end. I am playing a ton of corn. You're going to see them all on the battlefield here shortly as we continue to play. I got old Scarbrand with me, 110 blood letters. He's running a boatload of Poxwalkers, trying to do kind of an endless horde scenario here. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, three battalions, 18 uh, Nurglings total, making 72 wounds, plus 110 blood letters, Scarbrand, Demon Prince with a Skull Reaver, and Bloodmaster, Skull Taker, Skull Master. What letters there? Yeah. All right. This unit of Pox Walker is here. I might do a slight adjustment as I get him to the table here. Oh, you're good. You got a bunch of them. So we're just got a hammer and anvil deployment and uh, basically a bunch of bodies that are going to run into each other. It's going to be some interesting uh, math hammer on who comes out ahead on these. All right. I'll grab another 30 man squad of blood letters. Unlike Sigmar, I don't need to be wholly within for a lot of my auras, which is a nice uh, breath of fresh air because that's a difficult dynamic in Sigmar. It's uh, fun to... I, I correlate because this army totally translates between both systems, you know? Makes life easy. Yeah. 
I mean, that's why I like my Nurgle Demons. I don't play a lot of Sigmar, but if I were to... It's right there, ready I've to go. Nurgle Demons. Yeah. 24. Cool. Uh, yep, just another unit down. Cool. How's it feel to just drop trays like that? It's way Quick. better than... <laughs> yeah, way better than bundling them all up as one. They're all clean and standing up. It's a beautiful thing. We're both enjoying uh, movement trays from Tabletop Alchemy, guys. The uh, 3D printing company that Battlegrounds and uh, Warp Charge paired together on. All right, there's another unit. Wow. Yeah, you guys can see from the overhead there, the bodies are stacking up. I'll give you the uh, grand sweep as we get to playing. Won't just be overhead. All right, yeah, Zoros, looking forward to seeing uh, some Scarbrand on the table. Yeah, I'm excited about the list, man. I think it's actually pretty punishing, despite that it uh, has some decent... My list or yours? Uh, both, really. <laughs> yours, I'm, I'm... I have a lot of killing. You have a lot of staying power. I haven't seen the offensive capability of all those guys. Well, I think it's going to be great if you get near uh, my Pox Walkers with uh, Scarbrand, because then they'll have three models of base, or three attacks of base. So they have two standard? They have two flat. Wow. Um, you know, this unit of 20 here, because they don't have a great home to go, I'm going to actually spend uh, one CP to do Denizens of the Warp. Cool, cool. So I got one 20 man in. The 30-man uh, squad, or the, I'm sorry, the, uh, the one that's upgraded with the Banner of Blood is going to be the one right in the center. They have brown bases. Or cool, blue. cool. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? This Battle! Era. Uh, so dog. How you doing, man? This unit of Poxwalkers will go right here. Cool. I'm gonna do my Warlord, the Skullmaster. He's gonna go right in the center here. I'm gonna be dropping just a bunch of characters next. This unit of Poxwalkers will chill out. back here. Ah. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and put down old Scarbrand himself. He's gonna go. Oh god, we lost our overhead cam somehow. What? Guys, I don't know why that happened. Oh, there it is. And it's back. Something uh, freakish is going on up there, but welcome back. <laughs> it's the warp. Yeah, that warp storm went down. Uh, did you just put down Scarbrand? Yeah, Scarbrand's right up there in the middle. Typhus right here. Big and bad. This all just totally transfers over to Age of Sigmar, but it's 40k, it's so good. Uh, here is my old school bloodthirster who's now demoted to demon prince because he's too short to be a bloodthirster. Yeah. Uh, Necrosis the Undying will go right here. Excellent. We're going to put down our... We're sort of telling those pox walkers on the end to go screw themselves. Right. They take our change caster and put him right standing prominent on this thorn hive here. Back to you. Da, 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 da. All right. Skull Reaver Demon Prince. You guys see this thing too? I'm gonna come range here. Check out that. It's pretty sweet. All 3D printed. Oh, neat. Uh, so we can't go inside of it, but we can go on top. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, then we're gonna do our Skull Taker, named Bloodletter Hero. He will go next to the Demon Prince with a Skull Reaver. Back to you. I have one more drop to go. Uh, I'm gonna spend one CP, so I'm down to 12 to put my Demon Prince. In oh, reserve. Cool, the talons in reserve. Yep, that's why I put these Nurglings back here because I was worried about that. Uh, all right, and I'll put this guy right here. Cool. And I'll put my Skull Master right here. Sure. Awesome. Why all not? right, so we are about ready to get rolling. I'm going to try to, f uh, the overhead cam is being a little funky. I'm going to fix that here in a moment, my friends. I'm going to get us oriented with the other. I find the cable. Apparently something happened to the music, too. Ah, uh, yeah, the uh, music's been a struggle today, guys. I was trying to... It's an internal thing. We need the music, right? Ah, uh, the pain. I only have uh, non-commercial free music available to play to you guys right now. I guess we could do that. Because, you know, I care about the music and you guys enjoying some. Let's see, let's see. So we're at the point where we're going to roll for size. I think I finished first, yeah? Yeah, just barely. Yeah, one by like me. one drop. All right. So guys, here is a look at a general uh, from my perspective here as I operate the other camera. Uh, go ahead and roll 
for us to see uh, what you're gonna get. I'll cool. go after you too. All right. So you get the plus one to this. Yes. A two. Okay. Roll the one. No. Oh. Okay. Hmm. The choice is mine. I actually don't want to go first. I'm gonna have you go first. Well, alrighty then. So to you, sir. All right. It'll be Death Guard turn one. Guys, bear with that camera angle while I work on this thing. Go for it. Just as I suspected. That uh, unit of pox walkers that's mostly made up of like World War II German zombies is gonna go advance six inches. Good 10 inch move from the zombies. Hey now. 28 days later. <laughs> so six. I don't need you not to move super fast. That'd be, that'd be you'll great. get to stab me faster. That's true. Okay, see you guys. Yeah. Hope we get to link up soon. Typhus and Necrosis will both advance. Typhus is going to go two inches because of his cataphracty armor. And Necrosis will go four. Six inch move from Typhus. Four from the Crows. He's just gonna get him right up there. These Pox Walkers will move up. Demon Prince moves up. And I'm actually going to take these pox walkers back here off of their movement tray. Yeah. Sensible. They're going to advance three inches. There we go. Seven inch move for them. Got that overhead fix. Guys, I want to go ahead and feed you what we're listening to on the old YouTube here in the store. There's no uh, commercial monetization on this one. That's okay. You guys are going to hook us up on Patreon here soon anyways, right? We sure would appreciate it. There you go. Over there. I tried to turn that down, all right. Do you guys let me know how it sounds out there? Probably pretty loud at first. Four. These pox walkers will advance five inches. We're just gonna move up right behind the skull master. Hmm. That seems like a bad idea. I don't want to do that. Shit. Cables. There we go. Getting away from your blood letters. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that's my movement phase. So on to psychic. Psychic phase. Excellent. Uh, what powers do I even want to cast? What powers does he even want to cast, he says. Uh, quite a lot of bodies. I'm going to cast Putrescent Vitality from Typhus onto that squad right in front of him. Cool. I uh, get it off on a 9. That cool. makes them Strength and Toughness 5. Cool. Uh, I don't think I can stop you. Nice beefy plague pox walkers. Yeah, you're out of range of denies, so cool. go ahead. Uh, he's going to cast Miasma of Pestilence on that same squad. Yep. Gets that on a 6. Yep. So let me go put those cards next to them so I don't forget. Because I always forget that they're minus one to hit. Right. Necrosius will cast Gift of Contagion onto those Nurglings up top on the Spire. Doesn't get it off. Kind of a throwaway power anyway. Mm -hmm. Should have just smited. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to Curse of the Leper them. Yep. Does not get that. Needed a seven. Excellent. Curse of the Leper is I roll uh, seven dice, and for every 
roll Six. that exceeds your toughness, you take one mortal wound. Ah, yes, yeah, that's, that's a good one. So I feel like that's better than smite against Nurgling since your toughness too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, cool. Is that all the psychic? That's all my psychic. So assault phase. Yeah. I do have some souls I want to do. This Poxwalker squad's gonna charge these Nurglings. Uh, excellent. This is sensible. They need a about a seven or eight inch charge because you parked so close to my base. Right. Looks like I need a seven. Ah, Nurgle's gift. Yeah. Let's see if you can make your seven, sir. Easy enough. Yeah. This oh. Cool. Oh. Uh, that's not great. Um, huh. I got 12 command points. Screw it. Need a four plus. Got there it, it is. Uh, trying to kill something so I can at least get a couple points out the gate. Right. Because you need to kill something to get a uh, single point at least. And then if I were to kill nothing, you would get two points. Yeah. And should I just take them off the base for... Uh, however, you, however you please. Uh, right. I certainly, I just take them off the base where I need to. Okay. So I'm just gonna slot these guys around for their consolidation. Cool. Yeah, just like the moment and the base. I'll turn this base around. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Easy. All right. So we have. Is there any more charges you want to make? Nah. Everything else advanced or is too far away. Sounds like we have a party on our hands. Let's dance, Hagen. All right, so some pox walkers are swinging. Four, six, 16, 18, 18 attacks. All right. Hitting on fours. Yes. Not great. And your toughness, two? Yep. I need uh, threes. Yep. Cool. Fives followed by fives. Yep. I make three so far. Save the base. Yeah. And next. Ah. All right. Only took two wounds. Looks like I'm going to be fighting back with 12 attacks. So I will uh, pile in here. Go three and three. And this is the guy with two wounds. So 12 attacks, looking for fours to hit. Uh, they don't have miasma on them, right? They do not. Okay. Looking for fours. And then... Oh, these people aren't meant to fight each other. Looking for fives, reroll ones. Ooh. Two wounds. Two? Yep. All right, well, I don't have armor. Okay. So just five up. Two die. Two die. Excellent. And uh, you have to, you don't care about morale, right? No, nah, pox walkers don't care. That's pretty cool. Well, there you have it, friends. Uh, no kill for the Death Guard Nurgle on turn one. I'm happy with my decision to go second for that alone. And now I will get the, uh, the, the main charge here, it looks like. So we're going into turn one corn. Here we go with the movement. All right, so. We are gonna... Looks like I get recon that turn. Oh, sure, sure. Definitely okay. worth noting there. We're gonna take our six inch move to here. Cool. Uh, we're gonna take these Nurgling. Just go get up on this objective out of the way. These guys are going to make their six inch move. Going kind of the long route here. Scarbrand will get up into the midst, make room for our warlord and all of his might. Uh, now we'll move these guys up here. So you have a demon prince in reserve? Yes. Okay. I 
and take these nurglings and screen off the backfield here. Let's see. We're gonna go ahead and give, even with a one or two inch advance, I can make it to here. Just doing that without rolling on it. Just time, nine. All right, that's pretty cool. And then, take the advance the nerglings that are up in the top middle they get two but they have a five inch move usually running away yeah we're gonna back it up with them let's go in that direction take the demon prince of corn this 12 inch move move up and towards the middle we're gonna have these nergling that are in the by the objective they're gonna advance you have four, we nine. We're gonna spread them out to avoid any backfield shenanigans as well. So these guys are in the tippity back here of this uh, piece of terrain. You're gonna forget them in there. <laughs> I know. Uh, cool. Should be decent on what I want to achieve. And we're gonna take this fellow here, go grab that objective, take the blood master. This is Skull Taker. He makes it plus one to hit. Um, they already have twos to hit, that's fine. Oh, so they hit on twos. Uh, when they're over 20. That's real good. Yeah. And then the skull taker gives them another plus one. So that makes them even with a minus one, they're still twos. Yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, that's all as it should be. All those guys are happy too. I think we're ready. Cool. So that is all of the movement. Uh, there is one psychic, one psychic ability called Weaver of Fates. Uh, gets it off. You could probably, are you within range to deny with any psychers on this guy? Uh, did you move him up? Uh, no. So uh, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think so. I didn't see any of yours. I the could closest deny. might be. Yeah, probably so. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and see if you can beat a six. Yeah. Oh, no, you're out. No, yeah. I need to be right where that guy is. All right. So, yeah, so I have one reroll before the end of my turn uh, due to Weaver of Fates. And let's get the camera down into the action for the uh, charge phase here, because we're getting ready to fight. Let's get some good, brutal fighting happening. Right. You have no guns either. This yeah. is great. I mean, Scarbrand has like an eight inch gun, but uh, yeah, not anything to worry about right now. Um, Was it just him yelling? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a flamer. Um, before, I should have probably fell back with these guys, but it's too late now. No big deal. I already did a psychic power. Um, let's go to this side of the board here. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. Blam. All right. Blood letters and a demon prince of corn. They're staring down. I see your skull master on a juggernaut there. Yeah. We're going to charge everything within 12 because there's no okay. overwatch. And you reroll charges, right? Uh, yes, due to my icon. Yep. It's a nice icon. I also get plus one of the charge. So I have so a nine. nine. That should be more than enough to do something, I'd say. I keep losing yeah. my rulers every which I think you should be able to hit those front three units. Yeah, I think so. Sorry guys if I just blew you up with my mouth too close to the mic. Let's see. So nine. And I go up in it. So here's seven. And we'll just, just go a few more. Two. It's my two inch scoot. Nine. I get to I got some dead nerglings. Right? This is a seven. I'm gonna take a couple more inches wrapping here. Cool. And I assume we're gonna consolidate into the skull master. Yeah. Which is the idea. Or can I choose to heroically intervene before that happens? Uh, that's after all my charges. Yeah, so you could. Okay. You could. Might as well do that to get the corn plus one strength and toughness. Or not toughness, strength and uh, attack. But yeah, you get it to turn your charge as well. Oh, I thought it was only if you charged or Char heroically charge intervened. Charge or are charged oh. as well as heroically intervene. So there's their nine inch scoot. Cool. Um, pretty, I'll still do it. Yeah. As well. That's fine. Pretty happy with all that. Uh, it stops you from piling in deeper, you know? Yeah. 
Um, so we'll go to the other side. So we're going to go ahead and um, go to our banner of blood unit right there in the middle. And they're going to make a 3D6 charge and go down that lane I created for them. So this is a once per game 3D6 charge. And who's doing this? Uh, this is this big unit here in the middle. Okay. Who are they going after? Uh, they're going to charge everything within this 12. Boy? Yep. Cool. Everything, well, yeah, everything within 12. 3D6 charge. Did you get 12? Six, seven. Only seven inches. It makes it an eight with my uh, instrument. An eight may or may not actually touch something. I don't know. Let's find out. Probably not, huh? Nope. Nope. Uh, well, I go eight, and I do get within an inch at least. But uh, I'll just re-roll with my Weaver of Fates. One dice, or? Yeah, I have my uh, dice still separated here. So I'm going to re-roll the one. Cool. See if I can get a better number there. There we go. Yeah, there you go. So there's an 11 with plus one, so 12 inch charge. So I'm going where I like. So we're going to take the first big squad here and go 12. Just got to weather the storm. Right. Go another 12. And then, of course, I also can fight twice with command points. Three CP is the corn situation there. There's those guys. They're hitting on twos. Yeah. God, that's brutal. And then uh, this... Uh, What's the damage of their attacks? Uh, they're just one damage, and unless I roll sixes, then they're two damage. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and charge this last unit into these pox walkers. Okay. And the sick thing is Scarbrand over there, giving all those extra attacks, just nasty. I uh, got a nine. I think that gets you in. I think so, too. I won't get to fight with all of them, though. Whoops. I don't think any of your squads are going to have everybody fight. Right. I don't either. That's okay. There's too many of them. Yep. This guy's weaving around here. There we go. Okay. I think that covers all the scenarios. Getting a little messy here. Excuse me, guys, while I clean up a little. There we go. All right, so everybody has done what I want them to do, and I'm happy about it. It's time to resolve some combats. Cool. Um, we're going to start out over here where your juggernaut is. So I don't want you to go ham in there before I get to. Uh, so let's take a look at what we can do to optimize this situation. You got me fairly stuck. I'm going to do my three inch pile in now. Cool. That looks pretty good. I can do a little wrap around this way, which is good. Die, green flesh, die. We have a prejudice versus zombies. Because uh, they're ugly. And uh, so it's, it looks like as far as on this guy here, we have models within an inch, but model within an inch. So this guy's within an inch. I can go all the way to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven on these guys. Cool. Two, four, six. Uh, I can actually do eight. Two, four, six, eight. And then on the Nurglings, we'll have five. Cool. So we'll resolve that real quick, and then we'll do the other half of the unit. So uh, here's the eight on the fellow. Um, I have twos to hit, and because I'm corn, I have two attacks apiece. Yep. So eight is 16 attacks. Oh, I love how divisible by eight. Corn loves it. Four, eight. Yeah. That must be nice. Twelve. 16 and 18. Looking for twos to hit because we're over 20. Into the uh, Skullmaster? Yeah, okay. Skullmaster. And we are... I think you're, it might be out of sight of six. Yeah, I think I misplayed that, huh? Could have easily fixed that up. Well, suck a tash. Yeah. All right, so I forgot to stay within my reroll ones bubble. There's a bunch of ones in there. I know. Mistake. And uh, what's your strength? Uh, I'm strength four, five because of your strength four base? Yeah. That's good. So looking for uh, uh, toughness five, so you need fours. Yep, fours, sixes are extra damage, and I don't think I have any other modifiers here. Okay, so that's not looking great for him. The three sixes here are double damage, and the five. These are all minus three, so I think you got to take five of invulns. Yeah, five okay. of invul save. Okay, roll the sixes separate. I'm gonna roll them all first. Five up. There's four damage. He's dead. <laughs> oh, he only has four health. Uh, I think he has four. Oh, they said they were two each. Uh, oh, they were two each. You're, yeah, but you only you only took two of oh, them, yeah. so that's four damage. Now, now he's dead. dead. Yeah. Cool. 
That didn't go well for him. All right, that was easy enough. We're gonna do the uh, five remaining on the Nurgling over there, and then we'll do the other half of the squad. It's almost like blood letters are real good at killing things. Right? It's too bad I didn't have my real ones. You'd be extra dead. Uh, so here's the 10 attacks. Uh, twos to hit. And then needing twos. twos. So that many saves, these are double damage. Yep, so I'll roll those first. All I get is my invul save against those. Yep. So there's, that's both. a base. Kill the base. Yep. And then five up. Cool. Followed by a couple more. Killed another base. Uh, and he's at one wound. They have four wounds apiece. Yeah, you just oh. took three yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you, that base still alive with one wound left. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think that base is the one. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Groovy. So we're all good there. Did and you? The other side. Did you like wish to points. override combat for two CP at all? Yeah, I would. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's gonna override? My uh, my ancient zombies. My uh, squad right behind Typhus. They're yeah. gonna swing into that group. Okay, you got it. Looks like they're all gonna be able to swing after I pile in. That's the best part. Consolidation is three fourths of a pox walker's movement. <laughs> yes, we have uh, our friends Grim Nine is shouting out skull for the skull throne, blood for the blood god, corn for the cornflakes. Well, the best part is corn cares not where the blood flows. So. He, he does not. He does not. So hopefully I win his favor. <laughs> he is welcoming your desire to win his favor. So that's going to be 20 pox walkers. So, how many dice do you know are in this bin? <laughs> uh, there's quite a few. Because that's 40 attacks. Gotcha. Uh, you should have quite a bit. Two. I'm just going to put them out. This is a brutal looking game. Six, eight, ten, uh, I'm going to roll these and then a, another 10. Okay. But uh, before I do this, would you like to roll for the rest of the squad over here? Because that is one squad. Uh, he said, uh, I forgot to resolve the, resolve the remaining attacks into the other squad. Uh, that's what I was just saying. You forgot to... Uh, I thought I swung on those. I, I did not. My, uh, I did not. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Thanks, guys, at home. Uh, go ahead and roll yours and I'll do mine. Okay. I'll count mine up in the meantime. So many attacks, I got uh, forgot. <laughs> I can only uh, fight with 11 of them remaining over there. That's a lot there. of attacks. That's yeah. like 22. 22 attacks, yeah. Uh, 40 attack, or the first 30 of 40. Yep. Hitting on fours because there's more than 20. Not great. Poxwalkers get plus one to hit when there's more than 20? Yep. Oh, cool. Otherwise, hit on fives, and it's a, just a sad day for everybody. Yeah, that's poo poo. Come here. So, five, 10, 15, 16 hits so far. Cool. Ten more to go. All right, so 16 plus four more, so 20 hits, so cool. 50%. Yep. And they are strength and toughness five right now, so I'm moving you on threes? Yeah, I'm toughness three. Strength four, but toughness three. So you're, you're going to be taking 5, 10, 15 wounds. All right, 15 five ups. Pretty decent. I see some saves. Save four of them. And this is on uh, the squad that yeah. was a blood banner, yeah. So you killed four, eight. Should be 11? Yep, 11. So. That's pretty solid attacks from Box Walker. Yeah, that was good. I could try to re roll one and save it to. Uh, Still be above 20, but that's okay. So four, luckily the ones you're killing weren't gonna get to fight anyways. <laughs> Not bad. So four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm leaving my instrument and, and icon. Nine, 10, 11. Cool. They are pulled. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and roll. That gets them outside of six of Scarbrand. Oh. Uh, they, well, What's the range of this thing? It's eight. Ah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, Damn you, Corey. Four, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to go ahead and resolve those 22 attacks on those other Nurglings. Sounds good. Four, eight. 10, 11. Give you guys this view just for a moment. We're resolving the remaining attacks over here on some Nurglings, thanks to the friends at home, and also Hagen didn't forget. Uh, so, <laughs> twos. Too bad I stayed out of my reroll one bubble. I'm dumb. <laughs> and uh, I should play more 40K. This is my first time playing this list. This is my first time playing this list. Yeah. Uh, so, strength five, need three. But it's what I'm bringing on Saturday, so. Sure. Got to it out at least once. Whoo! Poor. Jeez. Uh, uh, oh, it would have been two. It would have been twos, yeah. All right, that many. Uh, the six is double damage. Yep. So I'll roll that first. Okay. Failed it. One model's gone. Well, one model takes two. Yeah, he had one wound left. No, that was uh, over here on the squad. Oh, you're Green. right, you're right, you're right, yeah. you're right. Five ups on the rest. Not great. Save three. Yep. Um, yeah, single damage. Pain. Yep. Nice. That's cool. solid. Yeah. So that kills a base, and then another base takes two more wounds. Okay. Cool. That is situated. So let me go get some dice to we'll go that. back back to where you interrupted here. Is that where you're going next? Or are you gonna? Yeah. I mean, now it's just the rest of my charging models, yeah. pretty much. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, fight with the guys that you just swung on. Okay. I'm going to stay in range of my, I'm going to pile in, but stay in range of my Crimson Crown here. Sounds good to me. Uh, what else does that guy have? Plus one strength and reroll charge is cool. Um, so. He's got stuff and things. Right. So we're going to do a little bit of piling where we can here. This guy can go here. These guys scoot up three. Uh, when we put a guy up in there, it goes here. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. It's like 13 guys are going to fight those uh, Poxwalkers there. And they are minus one to hit because of my asthma. Okay, um, I am plus one to hit, and then I also, it is the Skull Taker that gives me additional plus one. So I'll be threes to hit. Yeah. Um, so 13 guys. Teams. I'm actually going to have three attacks apiece this time, though. Nice. Because of Scarbrand. Yep. So... You didn't want to get him a little bit closer so I get the bonus? Right. <laughs> 4, 8, 12, 13. Does Scarbrand have a 3-up or a 4-up in both? Uh, I think it's a 5-up still. It's still a 5-up, yeah. That's not, that's not um, great. Right? Why does GW hate corn? 10. <laughs> I like it when there's no guns, though. I do like it when there's no guns. <laughs> 3... Six. Otherwise, I'd uh, deep strike them. I love bringing my Poxwalker lists against like people who bring anti-tank armies. I'm just like, all right, you'll kill like five Poxwalkers a turn. Right. Thirteen times three, twenty-six, thirty-nine. I'm at thirty-three right now. So here's thirty-four dice. Looking for threes. And reroll ones is not. Oh, Rage Incarnate. I am in range of my Warlord trait. That's on my Skullmaster there on the Juggernaut. So I do reroll ones. I need threes to hit. And what's their strength right now? Uh, their strength six right now. Strength six. Yep. Damn. So I'm gonna get rid of the twos. Uh, I still got to throw three. Three more. Thirty-five. There. I need to throw four more on top. I reroll ones. ones. Okay. There's my additional attacks, and then here's the ones I'm rerolling. Get rid of the two. Yeah, only one miss. Yep. And then now. How many attacks is that? Uh, Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine hits. Ugh. Pretty solid. All right, well, you wound me on threes. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to wound you on threes. Uh, I'm strength six. You're toughness four because of your powers, right? Five. Five. Okay, so threes. Minus three. Threes either way. At least I got up to strength six, eh? Yeah. Uh, Crimson Crown, six is to wound. That's we'll what do... I was hoping. I was like, oh, maybe we'll wound on fours. Six is to wound will generate extra attacks. Extra attacks or extra damage? Uh, extra attacks and extra damage. Damn. Uh, so uh, I'm going to get rid of everything that's not threes. Which, that's a lot. Yeah. Okay, and then the sixes will generate extra attacks and do double damage. More. Yep. Separate that. Here's four more attacks. Threes you're rolling once. And uh, threes. Okay, cool. So these are all single damage. 
Double damage. Yep, and double damage. Four double damages. So I'll do my single damages first. Yep. Uh, that's the best thing about Poxwalkers. They're basically demons. Yeah. So just five up, uh, feel no pain. Yep. Necrosius lets me reroll failed ones of one. Okay. Cool. So far, I've failed two. Or uh, more than that. All a those. handful, yep. <laughs> two, four, six, eight, ten are dead so far. Cool. And then uh, two damage each. Yep. So first one, uh, reroll ones. He's dead, so nine. Yep. Wait, how many is that? Or this was ten. That's ten, so, so 11. eleven. Twelve. Maybe. Oh! Nope. 11. Still at eleven. Number three. Thirteen. And the last one. Oh, yeah. yeah. So 13. 13. Cool. Yep. Cool. Okay. I survived that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, you did. I might have to fight twice on you. All right. And now we'll do the other unit of blood letters that did their thing here. They can't fight too many of them, though. Uh, looks like we're only going to be able to get five on this unit of poxwalkers from the other charging blood letters. Because we're trapped in the uh, edge of the board there. So these five blood letters will be getting uh, 15 attacks due to Scarbrand and charging. Looking for, they are not minus one to hit, so twos, reroll ones. Because yeah. of Rage Incarnate. Okay. And then we are looking for uh, three, two, three, Pox Walkers. These are other Those are threes. These are threes. Yeah. So uh, strength six, looking for twos. And two sixes. sixes are additional attacks from the Crimson Crown. There we go. Cool. So these are double damages and those are singles. Cool. Sounds good to me. Wow, I didn't save any of those. Uh, that's 10 died right there. Okay. That's really bad. Um, and then three, two, double damage. So yep. one, good. Yeah. Two, dead. Three dead. Twelve more dead. Yep. And then after you pull those, I'll see what my Nurglings can do. Whoop. Definitely uh, like this first turn charge here. It's a good situation. <laughs> Twelve died. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't let him continue to regenerate six. everyone back, so that's what I have to work on next. Damn spiky models. 10, 11, 12. Cool. Excellent. Uh, Scarbrand helped out significantly there. All right, so these Nurglings are going to pile in, do their three inch pile in. And they will fight against the remaining with 12 attacks. Fours. Get a few hits, and then we're looking for fives, reviewing ones. Two more saves to make on the Poxwalkers. Five up. Dead. All right. Oh, so, reroll the one, right? Oh, I'm outside of six, oh, okay. Necrosius. Okay. So, so I pulled two, two more. Two more, yep. And then you'll fight back, and then I'll fight again. With who, though? I, no, I'm not sure who I'll fight back with yet. I'm going to swing at this squad. Yep. So that's uh, going to be... Two, four, six, eight attacks. Cool. Hitting on fives this time because they're below 20 or below 10. Got four hits. Apparently the Pox Walkers like to only get half the number of hits they roll. Uh, one wound. And if I lose one, you regenerate one, yes. right? Nope. Nope. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to spend three command points at the end of the fight phase, and I'm going to take so wipe this. wipe out this squad? I'm going to wipe out the one in front of me here. Okay. If I can, anyways. I'm going to keep my coherency to my buffs, and I'll just make sure that I uh, do a little bit of a wrap here to gain all my attacks. I have nine left. Uh, let's get this guy here, this guy next to him. Okay, so everybody but, oh, he can go here. So everybody but four guys will be fighting. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve guys with three attacks apiece. 
That should be pretty vicious. Uh, 12, 24, 36 attacks. Yeah, 36 attacks. My bad, friends. Cameras and all that. All right, 36 attacks. Here I just go. need one to live. That's unlikely. Four, eight. I might need to buy some of my own orange dice. <laughs> right? 12, 24, 36. Don't I'm get gonna, lost here. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Uh, I'll just do it all at once. Four, eight, 12. Okay, need to roll an additional four after this. Okay. All right, so uh, threes because my asthma. Yep. Reroll ones because of my Rage Incarnate Warlord trait. That's definitely a helpful thing. I don't I'm like gonna, it. I'm gonna get rid of these twos. I got four more to roll anyways. And there's four twos? Oh, there's another one. Scooting these over to reroll my ones. Cool. And then the uh, additional attacks I haven't rolled yet. Three roll ones. Cool. All right. And wounded on threes. Wounded on threes, because strength six to your T5. Mm -hmm. And six is your double damage and crimson attack, crimson crown additional attack. So looking for threes. Get rid of all the stuff that don't count. And then we have Oof. one, two, three, four, five, six sixes. So these are crimson crown additionals with three roll ones. Threes. Okay, and looking for threes, threes again. It's two extra wounds. Yep. Uh, so I'll separate the sixes because those are two damage a pop. That sure is enough to kill me. I'd say so. And those are your disgustings. You might kill me right here for these. Yeah. Where will you? Nice save. Oh no, I still have lost a bunch. Yeah. Uh, oh, but I'm rerolling ones. Yes. So I lost four so far. Nice. Saved Good. two more. Good turnaround. Six dead. Six dead. This is probably where, where it gets them. There's seven. Yeah. Nurgle's number, dude. Yeah. You got so, this. So uh, I need to save two of these. Yep. Two of these models. Dead. And dead. Cool. Okay, cool. So gotcha. Yeah. All right. So there's a couple kills for the round. Some dead stuff. Uh, I'm gonna do my consolidate. You only had to kill one unit. I didn't kill anything. <laughs> I'll do my consolidate to gain as much ground as I can. There's the overhead friends. What's up, Kelsey? How you doing, bro? And here is my three-inch consolidate. I'm gonna go up into this hood a little bit, like so. Leave our chain. Really, I shouldn't have interrupted with that unit. Yeah, because. Had you swung first, killed eleven of them, and then I swung and killed some of your models, I'd be back up. That's fair, yeah. So I'm thinking about I did three more command points. I was at uh, 16. Now I'm at 13. All right, and All right. It, it is time to tally the score. Uh, I don't think you held more, but you've killed more. I'm on three. You're on three. Yep. yep. So you get three points, I got one, and I got one for recon, so it's... Uh, I'll get a headhunter as yep, well. you killed a character. I probably got a reaper point. Uh, yes, you killed uh, 20. <laughs> a squad of 20. Cool. If you kill uh, the last four over there, then you'll get another reaper point. Cool. Just got me a reaper and a headhunter. Yep. All right. So the score is currently 6-2-2. Uh, two, two. Looks like we're good to go for turn two, my friend. What's up, Austin? Not much. All right, so turn two for death card. Yep. Pretty cool board, yeah. Yeah, I'm stoked on it. I'll be right back, man. I'm just gonna grab a smoke. Sounds good, man. I'll just be moving. Gotta get some positioning going. Oh, that back unit and pink is going to advance one inch.
Hmm. Where do I want my demon prince to go? Right up the center. Then I will deep strike my demon prince. I don't know if those nurglings are inside of this or on the outside. Hey, can I also owe you uh, two command points to auto pass my uh, morale? Oh, okay. Yeah. So you I didn't want to roll it and try and get models back? Nah, I'm going to spend another two. Okay. So I'm down to 11. Uh, I wanted to ask. Yeah. Are they outside of this? There's, there's a guy in the middle in there. And are they outside of it because uh, only infantry can move between... Uh, Oh, buildings. sure. I just went around. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. I was figuring because if they're inside, I was going to plop him right there. Right, right. No, nah, they're, they're in uh, legit spots. They've got a nine on their advance. Nice. What the heck? What? 55 viewers? How's that happening, Zorath? Corn's Champion hooked us up with 164 viewers. Hello, everyone. Are you really watching this game right now? So good to have you all. It's like a first time thing ever. And it feels like the first time. Yeah, I'd like to say welcome. <laughs> All right, he's just going to go there. Cool. That's sweet. Yeah, so guys, you're seeing us do uh, a demon battle here. He's actually Death Guard with a bunch of Poxwalker zombies, and I'm running a bunch of corn. I got one pure battalion and two undivided battalions, so I can take a change caster and a bunch of Nurglings. Get those out of there. I have no psychic powers right now. Down to 11 CP after the first turn. I fought once. That's uh, my movement phase. Okay. These guys spread out more to deny you from cool. dropping back here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have one unit of 20 blood letters in Denizens of the Warp. So he's prepared his backfield. I also did a little bit of screening with my Nurglings in the back here. Try to keep his Demon Prince with a Skull Reaver out of my face. Did that guy end up dropping in? Is that who that is? Yeah, that's where he dropped. Mr. Skull Reaver, okay. It's the unicorn. No, yep. the Skull Reaver's up there in the uh, center. Oh, uh, but can he, but nine inches from my guy? He didn't deep strike. Oh. He was back here. He just oh, up. I got you. Okay, you have two Demon Prince of Corn. Yeah. Ah. It's like that. Yeah, it's just like that. It's like this and like that. Well then. Uh, I'm going to do Miasma of Pestilence onto that back squad over there, the furthest away Poxwalkers. Okay. I don't get that off. That's not great. Uh, I'm going to do Patricent Vitality on him. Don't get that off either. Ugh. Well then. Um, your toughness four on Blood Letters or toughness uh, three? The toughness three. Okay. I mean, there's no, if I'm going to be strength four, there's no sense trying to do that. That's still not great though. Well then. So, um, not the most desirable psychic phase? No, I still got Necrosius though. Okay. Your toughness three. Oh, jeez. I'm going to gift of contagion those blood letters right in front of me. Okay. Get that off on a seven. What's that do again? I roll d3 and there's a random effect. And where's this caster? Necrosius is the guy with the uh, staff. Uh, the uh, halberd. Actually... You still out or you in? I can't tell. It's, I think I might be barely out. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you're just out. Okay. Uh, you're good to go. All right. Uh, D3. That is a two. You are minus one strength on your blood letters. Okay. Which squad was it again? That squad right there. This the, one? Uh, cool. One that's down to, like, I don't know how much. And then I'm going to Curse of the Leopard then. Okay. Get that off on a seven. So I'm roll seven dice. And then if you roll higher than a three, it's a mortal wound? Yes. Okay. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I'll pick it up in a second. That is... Four mortal wounds. Well then, four mortal wounds it is. They are down to uh, 15. All right. It is, it is so. 
And we're going into the shooting phase. Yes, and I will be able to use the one gun I have in my army. Okay. Typhus's uh, destroyer hive. Yes. Which is five inch range gun. A man How many legend. shots is he getting? Four shots, hitting on fives. One hit. And I believe it's strength four. Strength three would be surprising. Uh, I'll see if I get a five up while you check. I get a five up, doesn't matter. All right, cool. So that one gun hit my invulnerable save. All right, so we're gonna be going to combat next, yeah? Yeah, assault phase. Where you wanna begin? Uh, I'm gonna begin with this squad of pox walkers. Yep. Charging into them. You got it, man. Need a short number there, just don't roll too low. Well, don't say that. <laughs> Like a five, that's oh, it. That's gonna be fine. Surely. I think I'm four away, that's what it looks like. Looks pretty good to me. No, but I'm within an inch. Yeah, you're fine. He gets within an inch, no problem. Oh, sorry. No worries. Not used to movement trees. We are engaged. All right, with uh, your... Typhus and Necrosis are both gonna go in. I okay. can't fail that charge. Yep. Uh, that Demon Prince is gonna charge all of the Nurglings. Sure. If a six, I don't know if that does it. Yeah, you got a six. It should. Yeah, you can Just wobbly there. You got this, buddy. Check this out. I can actually take this off. Oh. There you go. There he is. Blam. All right, uh, that Demon Prince is gonna charge these blood letters. Yes. Well, that's uh, that's an eight. That should do it. Corn wants it, man. Uh, no, deep struck. I have to roll nine. Oh, oh. But I am pure corn, so I can reroll failed charges. But I'm gonna spend a command point just to roll a single dice because I don't okay. want to lose that six. Yep. Nope, he fails it. Cool. Good job, buddy. Too bad. Uh, these pox walkers are gonna charge. Three. Wow. Still, they're right there. Yeah. But my goodness, is a low roll. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, you're good. Especially when you do your piling. Yeah, it's fine. Groovy, they're, they're, all, in. they're all fighting there. Uh, anyone else needs to charge? Uh, I think that's every... I'll charge the, the squad into there as well, just because. Five, I think that does it. I didn't plan on charging them either way. Yeah. No, I'm not using the Legion of Skulls Specialist Attachment. I haven't got a uh, hip to all that quite yet. I got the books, but... Haven't studied it enough to know I can use it on my demons yet. Legion of Skulls, that sounds right up my alley, man. So we got all your chargers in? Yeah. Where do you want to fight first? I don't know. <laughs> That's a tough one. I will fight you back when it's done. I know, I, I know you're gonna like counterattack me or whatever I do. Uh. I also need to make a decision, at the start of the fight phase, I could pop Warp Surge. Mm -hmm. um, I think I do want to do that, actually. Which does? Uh, it gives me plus one invuln. Nice. So the, the big, the unit is right- Is it one unit or is it all one, Just one unit. So this unit right here, plus I'm going to spend two CP and give him a four up invuln. All right. So I go down to nine. Well, I'll attack them first. Okay. Oh, I was at, yeah, I was at 11, so I'm at nine. Did you uh, mark down the two you owed me for- uh... Yeah. Yeah, I went from 13 to 11. 12. Uh, and also don't forget, if you got anybody, I think Scarbrand isn't tagging any of your units, but if he was, you would get some bonuses. But yeah, he's out of range of your guys. All right, let me double count, check this, make sure I'm rolling the right amount. Guys, he's gonna five, start ten, over where I five, warp ten, searched. 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, 30 attacks, and I'm gonna roll another 10 after this. My bad, friends. Here we go. I'm not gonna bother taking them off those bases. Uh, hitting on fours.
That's pretty cool of old uh, Corn's, Corn's Champion there to hook us up with a uh, little raiding party. Appreciate that, Corn's Champion. We must have summoned him with all the blood. Scarbrand hit the table and he got alerted with his bat signal. It's pretty awesome. Extra four. And your toughness three? Yep. Well, I'm strength three. So. Four as it is. There's me. Yep. All right, four of Let's hope it comes into my favor. See some fours? Yeah. I that lose was really good. Four peoples. I never swung back with my Nurglins last turn. Uh, if, yeah, if you want to probably do that. Uh, so go ahead and you can go ahead and fight with those guys, and I lose yeah. four bodies. And it's four attacks of base on them? Yep. Uh, the tan ones hitting on fours. And uh, looks like one wound All right, from the I'll first group. I only had a five up last round, so yep. we'll roll that appropriately. Nope, so I lose one more. And nothing from the other group. And awesome. from, the, from the single loss, I will take a, uh, see if I get D6 back. No. <laughs> no, not, none at all. That would have been silly, huh? So uh, how many uh, did you end up losing total? Uh, I have I've only lost five so far. Okay. Yep. That's not great. <laughs> yep. So there's still a 25. Uh, so now we're going to, now it's to me to fight, right? Uh, if no. I wish to override. Yeah. If you want to override. Do you so, want to override anywhere? Uh, yes. I'm going to spend two CP and fight. Who are you fighting? We will fight the, because those guys have both fought over there, right? Or is that two units? That's, That's one, one squad. Yeah. And that unit's fought. So yeah. I, don't only, I don't have to only worry about Nurglings over there. Yes. All right. So yeah, I'll go ahead and swing into the... Uh, squad over here. I'm gonna go into Typhus. This one or Typhus? Yeah, I'll, I'll just be swinging with this unit, and okay. I'll fight wherever I can allocate. So let me play. Hey, what's the uh, negative to their weapons? Minus one. Negative three. Flat. Yeah, that's real good. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good. All right, so. Oh, so they were like AP three last edition. Yeah, still AP three. So I got two characters here. It looks like we're gonna put uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna put six into. Typhus, and we're going to put two into this friend here. Okay. And when I when I pile in, I still got to keep coherency. So actually, it's going to be one into that one guy and six into Typhus. Cool. And the rest into the Poxwalkers? Yeah, which is going to be two, four, five into the Poxwalkers. Cool. So we'll do six into Typhus first. See what we can come up with. They're going to have uh, three attacks. I was charged this turn, so I get an additional attack. And I have Scarbrand uh, giving range. I also have the Crimson Crown as well as my Rage Incarnate Warlord trait. Cool. So six attacks is going to be 18 attacks. And we're looking for uh, threes to hit because I'm no longer above. Uh, and the Skull Taker is not in range for an additional plus yep. one. So threes, rerolling ones from my Rage Incarnate. Is that just a base thing or? Uh, what, the reroll ones? Oh, that's from uh, your Warlord. Skull Master. Yeah. So there's the threes, and then now sixes will be an additional attack from the Crimson your Crown. Strength. I'm strength uh, plus two. Plus two? One from Corn and one from my Herald. Oh, okay. So strength six to toughness five. Three. And that was not as good as I'd like. So um, pretty good. Yeah, the one six generates an additional attack, which hits and, and does, not, does wound. not wound. Yep. So right. you got one that's two damage, and the rest are one. All right, so four pinball save. Yep. You can just pick up another if you like. Ow. All right, Typhus. Ooh, not good. Yeah, failed most of those. That was bad. It's not enough to kill him, though. Yeah. Kill no pain. Made two of those. So he has three wounds so far. Yep. And the double damage. Yep, four up and bull. Made that. Okay, so he has uh, three wounds taken, right? Yep, he's got three left. All right, and the one attack on the other character. Need a three to hit. Hits. And wounds with a double damage and Crimson Crown. Generates another attack and another wound that does two damage. So you got a two two damage uh, attacks on your other character. Okay. Four up and bull save. Failed them both. Okay. Four damage. Feel no pain. Wow. Failed them all. How much health does he have? Five. Okay. So he has one wound left. That was awful. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to do the uh, six remaining attacks into the pox walkers. Make sure that's how many it was, not five. Two, four, five. It's actually only five. So 15 more attacks into the Poxwalkers. 
double check the number of wounds he has. Looking for threes, three going once. Okay. And then we're looking for uh, Pox Walker's toughness three, so twos. Oh, he has six wounds, so he's up, down to two. All right, Crimson Crown on these sixes. Two hits, two more wounds. So you got three that are two damage a piece on the Pox Walker, and those are regulars. One of pain. Reroll. So I saved three, so yep. I lost four. Okay, and then uh, some double damages. So lost four so far. Five, six, six, seven. Cool. Seven Pox Walkers bite it, and then it'll be back to you to fight. Yup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The uh, it's Scarbrand, James. <clears throat> uh, my buddy James was asking how many, how I got all my attacks. If I zoom out a little bit here, you can see Scarbrand is uh, tagging them. Here's the uh, little tag right here, and my Warlord plus Scarbrand is giving me reroll charges, uh, reroll ones with Rage Incarnate Warlord trait. Crimson Crown is letting the exploding sixes to wound count as additional attacks. Scarbrand is giving an additional attack. And, oh, you know what else, dude, is uh, I actually didn't have to spend that 2 CP because Scarbrand lets me pass morale automatically. Sure. So I'm going to go back up 2 CP. All right, so 11 Pox Walkers are in range to swing at you. Yep. Hitting on fours. That was awful. They they get uh, they get an additional attack, James, when they're charged, do charge, or uh, heroically intervene. I need threes to wound you. So six wounds on your pots on your uh, dudes. Okay, five up. Wow, that was really good. Lose two guys. I get two models back. All right, Typhus will go. Yeah, unstoppable ferocity, the corn trait. If this unit makes a charge, is charged, or prefers, performs a heroic intervention, you get plus one strength and attack. So that's how I was having three this turn. It's really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so three hits from Typhus. Three wounds from Typhus. All right. So I'll take my five ups. And I fail two more. All right, and it looks like we will be... Necrosius swinging at him. Okay. Three hits. Right, we're gonna take the Plague weapon. Here. And the one that bounced out. And three more wounds from Necrosius. All right. Let's see if I lose uh, some more models here. Save two. One more dies. Is that all of your attacks over there? No, I got some pop more pox walkers over on this side to swing. Okay. Don't stand up. Yeah, you can always just like grab the guys from back. You know, True. Three away. Whatever's clever. Sure oh, it looks like six of them will be able to swing. I'm sure you can get one more. Make it seven. Seven? Okay. Yep. And do you want to bring these stretch these guys in at all or? Nah. Okay. So I can show you guys the action here. And three more wounds from the Pox Walkers. Three more wounds from the Poxwalkers. I'm asking myself, do I want to swing again? But I think I better save my CP. Only lose one. Oh. All right. So we will go ahead and resolve our. Uh, now it's still back oh, to you. Prince. <laughs> yeah, you got. Yeah, you all, yeah, that's your next charging model. You also have these uh, guys over here too to fight. You want to go ahead and knock out these Poxwalkers? Those four over there? Yeah, yeah, plus the Nurgling. And I'm putting him right here so he's getting both squads. Cool. Uh, so I'll do those pox walkers over there yep. into your blood letters. On fives. Uh, 
Uh, two wounds. Save them both. Okay. All uh, right. Demon so, Prince. Yep. Demon Prince time. So, six attacks on the charge. Uh, I'm going to do three and three. Cool. Into your squads. First three. We're rolling ones because I'm a Demon Prince. So three hits. Yep. And uh, two wounds. Two, two wounds. Five of invulns. Yep. Save one, fail one. D6. Losing base. Other squad. Yep. Three hits. Two wounds. Five ups. Lose two bases. Or, well, D6. Yeah. First D6. We'll lose a base. And, and take two. Yeah. All right. Lose a base. Take two. And uh, all your Jeep Strikers are in now, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other from you? No, I think I resolved more of the rest of my attacks now, yeah? Should have been. So we're going to cruise over to this uh, Bloodletter combat here where I didn't lose near enough for him. I'm still above 20 with uh, that squad, and they had a 4-up in this round to help keep them alive with their warp search. So let's do a tally of what we got working over here. I'm going to pile in deeper into the depths here a little bit. Where we can. Oh, does he swing with like Malefic Talons too? Like he makes an extra attack with that? I believe he does get an extra attack with Malefic Talon, yeah. All right, well, he's going to put it into the squad with the guy that has uh, two wounds left on that base. Okay. Hits. Yep. And that should be Strength one. seven, yep. Five up. Doesn't matter. Yep. Uh, cool. So I think we're ready. I'll start. I'll figure out my allocations here now. Uh, into the pox walkers, we're gonna do two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen into the pox walkers. Four, four into the nurgling. And on this side, tan. Two, three, four, five, six into the green. Oh, there's only twenty-five of them left. Uh, what, how'd I say it? 16 plus 4 is 20 plus 5. Yeah, actually. Cool. Yep. Awesome. So, cool. So 16, 4, and 5. Let's do it. Uh, we'll start out with the 16 attacks. They're going to have two attacks per. You did charge me this round, right? Yes. Yep. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 4, 8, 12, 16. All right, so we are above 20, so we get plus one to hit. Two's to hit, no rerolls. Getting rid of the ones. So you're still hitting on twos? Yeah, because they're above 20. Oh, that's that's what their thing is. Yeah. Just like pop plague bears, it's minus one to hit above 20. Yep. So there's all my twos. I actually had a ton of twos in there, so that was my value there. I see the cameras running out of batteries, friends. I'll change that here in a second. And strength uh, four. Uh, but I'm corn, so strength five, so threes, and no crimson crowns. All right, no bud, sixes. Uh, we got five sixes, six sixes for you, and all those are minus three. That doesn't matter so much. Uh, there's your regulars in the bin, and the ones on the table are your cool. double damage ones. Yep, I'm just organizing my dead pot to see uh, how many reaper points you're getting. Ah. Because uh, if I kill one more model, I'll be getting two this turn. Okay. So five ups. Yeah. Reroll ones. Oh, you're out of range of the hero. Yeah. So save two of those. Okay. So there's that, and then these are all double damage ones right there. That's not great. Dead. 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 Oh, saved one. <laughs> How Two, many did I get? Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. I like it. All right. 
Uh, we're going to continue fighting. Oh, now I have more attacks to divvy out there. We got four and... So I'm just going to pull this away. Four and five there. So we'll do the uh, four into those tan nurglings there. It's going to be eight attacks. Two. All hit. Uh, sh strength six, so two. All wound. Three of them are double damage. How many wounds? Uh, you got five plus an additional three that are two damage apiece. Yep. Number of corn. Five up. Wow. Okay. Disgusting. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's, okay. Uh, that squad. Yep. So that kills him. Brings him down to one. Okay, and then your double damage ones. Yeah, he's uh, not looking great. All right. Five up. Cool. So that takes so, care of the... No, yeah, no, no saves. Damage. Yeah. Squishable. So all those Nurglings die, and then we'll do the remaining five into the green Nurgling hiding in the horde there. And well, that'll be ten attacks over twos. And then looking for twos. All those saves, these are double damage. Should probably kill them too. You wanna bet? <laughs> this is where the dice start getting hot. Save three, yeah. four. Four, <laughs> yeah. And then disgustings. All right, cool. take one wound. One wound, that brings that one model down to one. Yep. Uh, fives. Five up. Oh, you killed that base. <laughs> okay, that was better. That was a lot better. Yeah. Okay, and because I get to go next, I'm not too concerned about fighting twice. We got a few more combats to resolve, and then we're good to go. Uh, so, so the uh, time to start choosing who swings. Yeah. Um, uh, we're, we're, I'm going to spend 3 CP for that Demon Prince to swing again. Uh, that's at the end of combat. Oh, is it at the end? Okay. Yeah. So I still got a few more actions for you. So right here, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, six, seven 8, because model okay. with an inch. So 8 dudes... Uh, they're within range of Scarbrand. Yep. So they'll have three attacks. Or no, they did not get charged this turn. So only two not attacks. Combat. Yep. Three, six. Eight, Sixteen attacks. Seven, eight. Yep. Four. That's a big difference in number. I know, right? Eighteen versus uh, however many that other ones. Twenty-four, yeah. Uh, they are still above 30, so two's to hit. I am uh, out of range of my Warlord trait. And strength five. Or no, they didn't charge this turn. They're not in range. So strength four, so threes. Okay, and the, they are not in range of Crimson Crown. Yep, those are double damage, though, on the six. Three sixes. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Feel no pain. There's wow. one left. Okay, and then the double damages. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Takes care of that. Do a little scooch. Excellent. And now I'm going to fight your demon prince with my Nurglings. Uh, my Nurgling over here is going to swing. Oh, sure. Because we're alternating. Go ahead. Four attack into those blood letters. Three hits. One wound. All right. There you go. Five. Four. Four. But. Oh, sure. Thanks. I lose one. Cool. They're down to 24. Okay, and... You know, I think the number of dead, like, accurately shows zombies versus <laughs> murder demons. Let's see if these Nurgle demons can do any uh, damage to your corn prints here. Uh, we'll pile in. And we got eight attacks. Are those two down there going to pile in? Because uh, yeah, they when got they, charged. Yeah, when so. they activate, yeah. Okay. So, eight attacks. I don't like how blurry that looks. Too bad I'm out of range of uh, Scarbrand. And uh, looking for fours. No rerolls. But we are looking for sixes with reroll ones. One wound? Yep. Three up armor. Oh. Failed it. All right. Takes a wound. Down to five. Other Nurglings are going to pile in. Um, yes. Yep. What's up? Eight attacks. Getting two hits. Looking for sixes. Nothing. All right. Now you'd like to spend three CP and fight yeah. back? Yeah. Cool. So I have a bunch. I'm down to seven. Cool. I'm going to do the same thing again. Three and three. 
And then you got your malefic talent as well. Yes. Don't want to forget that. Who do you want to allocate that to? Uh, the squad that's at full health. Okay. Squad that's at full health. Reroll one. Some of the imprints. Why do you got to miss, man? Two wounds. Okay. Five ups. No. First one. Three damage. Yep. Second one. Lose a base. And um, Malefic Talon? Yep. Hits. Wounds. And... All right, takes it. That's uh, two damage. Yes. Down to two. So that unit lives, unfortunately, for you. And the other unit? Uh, three attacks. Ouch. <laughs> Rolling ones. Ouch. Why are you so bad? One wound. Ouch. Okay, so do two damage oh, yeah. and I lose a base. D six. Oh, oh, I only lose a oh. oh, That was sad. That was bad. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was a bad 3 CP. That was not good. Uh, well, let's go to the overhead and take a look at... Uh, that was turn two for the Death Guard. We're about to have yeah. turn two for Corn. Brutal. All right, let's get into it. So, uh, let's party. Uh, you get recon again, I think? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Nurgling, Sorry. Nurgling. Yep. Yeah, slotting them up here. Cool. Uh, first thing we're going to do is advance with our Nurglings over here. Get them out of the way of these blood letters. Getting a three. If the unit breaks from route, does that count towards the units killed? I believe so, yeah. For the round. Yeah. Just not as your own personal kill. Yeah. It might even count for that, even. Can't remember. Not, not going to matter too much. Because you have to roll a morale for your Nurglings. Uh, for those guys, sure. Yeah, and uh, both of your blood letter squads. Let's see. Well, this blood letter squad's fine. Not that one. That. that one and those. Because they lost five. Or six. Yeah, they lost six. Um, let's auto pass with those guys. Okay. So I will go from ele I will go from nine to seven. Let's see. I was at 11. Now I go down to nine. Yep. Okay. There we go. And they auto pass because of... Uh, Scarbrand. And they are way out of coherency. <laughs> Move already! <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, cool, so these guys just did their thing with an advance. So let me see how many models I killed. I'll mark what you killed too. Five, we're going to take the unit you've been beating up on and we're going to fall back with them. Forty-five. Oh, you know what? Uh, they're outside of three, so they're not locked from Scarbrand, which is good. So we're going to fall back six with this unit. That we can go charge you with a full strength unit is the uh, idea. You, uh, roll for your nerglings. Which ones are you thinking about? These that I uh, took models away from. Oh, you. sure, sure. Uh, they only lost one apiece, though, in the leadership seven. So uh, they... One of them lost two. Okay. So I need a six to lose the other one? Yep. There it is. Oh, goodness. Uh, so... Does that matter to me? I think I killed enough of yours that you're not you're not gonna get more or even with the that's fine. I'll just pull yeah. the, the model. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't know how you could have oh you could have command pointed it. Yeah, I could command point it, but whatevs. Uh, you're up to two Reapers. I, you're uh, one kill one model kill away from being up to three. Okay, great. Thanks for the update. You're disengaging? Yeah. But you can't disengage because Scarbrand's nearby. He's out of three. It has to be within three oh. inches. Yep. It's got a lot of different rules. I know, right? All right, so that unit fell back. And then this unit will go back into the... Where they were? Yep, the gap there. Cool. And then we're going to move to make sure our Crusher gets all the benefits. i make sure to get my own guys... Uh, the plus one attack, but not yours. So that's smart. Scarbrand kind of wants to go fighting this guy. Let's just have my demon prince fight your demon prince. Okay. That makes sense, right? Yeah. I'll just be just within an outside of an inch of you. Just okay. wobbly style. Uh, so now that your deep strikers are in, we're going to have these Nurglings resume their spot at the top of the situation here. There we go. I haven't killed any characters yet, have I? Uh, no. That's tough. What's up, man? The Skull Taker, he wants to be a part of the equation. Uh, uh, we're going to 
Let's see, plus one strength would be kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. Blood letters. We're going to advance the Skull Taker. Gets a yeah. five, going 11. Jump up ahead. Bloodmaster is going to advance. Getting a six, going 12. Going to jump him up into the mix. Uh, we're going to advance these Nurgling. Getting a one, going six. Uh, now we're going to move these blood letters over here. And they, it looks like they have a yummy character to go fight. Let's go try to kill this demon prince. Can they charge after disengaging? These, these are the, oh, because there's these guys here. Yeah. Oh, didn't even recognize them. They're not dead yet. That's why I should have fought twice. All right, so no, no. Uh, well, that'll be okay. That'll be okay. Because we have more blood letters. <laughs> you got another 20 deep strike, don't you? Yeah. I think I might wait a turn still to bring him in, though. What up? What up? Even though I could add them to this equation over here. We're going to take these Nurgling that are on the object, or in this hood here, and they're going to fall back. And then we are going to go ahead and deep strike and just really try to make sure we kill your blood, uh, your demon prince. Okay. Where are you going in at? We're going to come over here in my own zone. This is also where my characters are to help me get buffed up as well. Horizontal. Okay, they get because of their instrument, they'll have plus one of their charge. Never a bad thing. Cool. So the uh, idea is to be an eight inch charge, right? Yeah. They're there. I think that is all the movement that I care to do. We're going to do a psychic test, Weaver of Fates, on my one change caster. He's going to get it off an 11, and I now can reroll a dice. Uh, right. Let me try and deny that. All right. Double six. I think I'm finally in range. Cool. Wait, so what'd you get it off? Of? 11. Oh. No. I don't deny it. Yeah. <laughs> you can command point the one if you want. I will. Yeah. Screw it. Oh! oh! <laughs> that was epic. All right, so you're one command point less. And I do not get a reroll. That was saucy, man. <laughs> you like, looked me in the eye and challenged me with that. Uh, I feel kind of gross inside. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hagen. does that to you? All right, Hagen. It's good, it's good. Uh, so... We are ready. Scarbrand kind of feels, he feels like a little bit like a little bitch because he's not fighting the Demon Prince over there. because he is. But yeah. <laughs> but he hasn't, you know, he hasn't killed anything. He's a big baddie. He gets to do what he wants. All right, cool. <laughs> like, I can still charge if I want. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't fly in the charge phase any longer. All right, so we're good. We're ready to go into the charges. Which is silly. You'd think you'd be able to. Right. Uh, let's have the Demon of Corn, uh, the Demon Prince of Corn, charge your Demon right. Prince of Corn. I was one oh, inch hey, away. Yeah. <laughs> no struggles at all. We'll join you on Mount. Let's go up here because it's awesome. Okay. We're higher than you are. I'll just put a oh, boat yeah, up join, there. Join me. Da 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 da. That's epic. Uh, I kind of feel like we need to get zoomed into the action. What's up, dude? How you doing? I mean, that's kind of badass looking. Demon Prince of Corn versus Demon Prince of Corn. It's a really cool corny corn flakes. And we just lost 10 viewers because I sung a stupid song. Here is my bro. Yeah. Nurgle. It could be Tyranid. Look in the case in the bottom right. You'll see some Tyranid. All right, so the word is that happened. And then I'm going to take my blood letters and see if they can make that eight inch charge they wanted to make. They get a four. Uh, I don't have my gaze of fate. I would need a six on a two. I don't like that. I'm not going to reroll. Uh, oh, but I'm within range of a character, so I can reroll. <laughs> I'm not going to gaze of fate, right? But I do have my locus of rage, so I'm going to reroll charge. Right, I denied it. Yeah. Uh, that still is the exact same result, and I fail. Is that from your blood letters? Yeah. Oh, well, so, good. Now it's a fair fight. Well, yeah. not really. I'm down a wound, but... Right, right. So that's happening. And then over here with the other blood letters that decided to take the place of their fallen brethren, they're at a full 30. They're going to charge into everything within uh, 12. So go ahead and do your hive, a destroyer hive. Destroyer hive? Come on. Give me boxcars. That's not boxcars. All right. Does the other guy have a... The psychic? Yeah, he's got a bolter. Okay. This Warp tainted bolter. Uh, that's two hits. Okay. Because uh, it always hits on fives. Oh. One wound? Two wounds. Oh, two wounds. Uh, so fives. 
Save one, lose one. Cool. They're at the tainted bolt pistol. Misses. Cool. All right, so they're at 29. Uh, here comes the charge. A three is a very low number. Um, they are they are in range of reroll charges. I'm just gonna reroll. You don't even have to. Corn demons can always reroll failed charges, can, charges, can't they? I don't think so. Is it all failed charges? Uh, I think they just gain oh. access to the locust, which is just comes off of characters. True. I'm running a supreme command, so all my guys are characters. Right. Exactly. Four. These guys are going up into the mix. I don't own any blood letters. I own a bunch of corn berserkers. They're strong. You didn't bother rerolling. I did. I just got one extra distance. Oh. So I'm going four. So not too many people getting in. Nope. But with a pile in, I should be pretty, pretty solid. And you just declared everything. Yep. You got a few things in the way, more than I'd like. Coherency. Get off there, fools. All right, this guy wants to go up in the gapage. Come on, man. If my demon prince survives, going right after Scarbrand. <laughs> I don't care if he's got one wound left. That'd be funny. He's gonna get killed in Overwatch by the Flamer. That would be funny. Unless you want to forego shooting the Flamer. Just, just uh, for the honor of the fight. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that he has a flamer is dumb. Well, I don't plan on letting you get out of that combat, so I'm not going to think that far <laughs> ahead. Uh, let's see, because I one of us will fight twice, and I think whose turn it is gets priority. Actually, we might. I don't think either of us will have to fight twice if you don't kill me. Right. <laughs> that might be it for you. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Uh, that's all the charges there. So, what would it come down to, like? If we both want to fight again, will we like roll a dice to see who gets to fight I, first? I think it's a roll off, and we share the same. Since the end of the phase, we both have the uh, same ability. It's a roll off. It's actually checking that out on the drive home from Adepticon. Interesting. Uh, yeah. So let's start where it matters most to me, and that is my Demon Prince with his Skull Reaver versus Please your Demon alone. Prince. Now your Demon Prince doesn't have the Skull Reaver, does he? Or that is that is the Skull, that Reaver, is the Skull Reaver one? The Unicorn over there is a. Uh... No of talents. Gotcha. Uh, so the uh, the I did me pre measure my distance. I got Scarbrand going on there. Sounds good. So I have five attacks for being a Demon Prince of Corn. Plus I get one for the charge. Plus one for the charge. Plus one for Scarbrand. Plus so one for Scarbrand. And then one Great extra attacks. for Malefic Talent. Yep. So two's to hit with three rolling ones. Hey. Okay. All right. And this is strength. On a Skull Reaver? 11. 11, so I need threes? Yes. All right, I only fail one. I think I'll really seal the deal and re-roll this. Okay. Oh, so that many wounds, down a CP. Five up. I saved three of them. Can you roll five plus on three dice? I hope so. Yes. You got him. <laughs> Hella dead. All right, he just got murked with a Skull Reaver. Well, that was pretty satisfying. Man, there should be a uh, corn stratagem that lets you fight after you die. Right? I mean, witches get it. Or not witches, but whatever those. So do you wish are. to override combat? 2 CP. I don't know if there's anywhere that's really worth it. I can't warp search. I have to do that at the beginning of the fight phase. I'll hold off. All right. So we will go with the 30 man that just uh, rocked into all these fellows over here. And I think how it's going to look is... A lot of stabbing. Yeah, we'll count up your characters first. So we can get five in the typhus. typhus. Three or five. Because models within an inch of a model within an inch. So this guy could hit him too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, seven. So we got seven into Typhus, and only one into the other character. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and do six Typhus to him. Okay. Okay. Six Typhus to him, and then we'll count up the rest. So Two. fifteen attacks into Typhus. Yep. Or, or uh, uh, it was yeah six yeah. So three, four, five, six. You know what? Let's do uh let's do three and five because they get okay. three attacks. Let's do fifteen attacks into him, and then. 
three, six, nine into the other guy. Okay. Three, six, nine. We'll do him first. Nine guys. Uh, twos. Reroll ones because my rage incarnate. Ow. I like okay. that. And then strength six. Uh, toughness five. Threes. So that many. Four up. Failed nice. one. Okay. Uh, and discussing the resilient. Failed it. So, so now he's down to one wound. Okay. And, and then the 15 six. attack. Here's Typhus. Twos, reroll ones, rage incarnate. Okay, and they all hit. And then strength six, need threes. Sixes are exploding. One explodes. Yep, these go away. Hits. Does not win. Nope. Uh, this one's two damage. Yep, cool. Four ups. Failed three. And then the, this one. Made it. Okay. So I have three wounds. Yep. Disgustingly resilient. Made two of them. Takes one. Yep. How many do you have left? One? Two. Okay. Uh, cool. And then we'll count up the rest of the attacks. And those characters just did not want to die this turn. Yeah, no. Uh, we got two, three, four, five, six. Let me find where I counted two, four. What's that? So it's these guys. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve into these cultists here. Okay. And that'll be the all I can fight with on that side. So twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six attacks. Okay. So nasty. Four. Scarbrand's a big help. When there's no guns to take him down, he just goes rampant. Well, four, how many wounds do you have? Like sixteen, fourteen, or sixteen? Four, eight. Why? <laughs> He's a greater demon, Doug. Four, eight. 12. But he only has a 5 of Windfall save. <laughs> yeah, I know. 4, 8, 12, 4, 8. I gotta roll 4 more dice after this Go. if it's needed. Uh, you can, uh, you probably need to ask a store person. Let me tell you real quick. 2. Hey, Ben, uh, this gentleman would probably need to holler at you real quick. Just right around there, yep. So twos and uh, reroll ones. Sorry, friends, had a customer needing some help here at Battlegrounds. Uh, looks like they all hit with the twos. That was fan fantastic. Thank you. Let's start here. I got four more attacks to roll after this if it matters. Uh, this is into cultists. I'm strength six, so twos. Uh, but I'm next to your. Does your character give you a bonus of strength? They toughness? are strength and toughness four right now. So I need threes. All right, sixes are gonna get the crimson crown effect. That's a lot of ones and twos. Yeah. Okay. You might want to reroll the, roll those four extra attacks. Right. So we got two double damages, which so creates six extra attacks. There's two additional attacks. Uh, one of those wound, and here's the four extra attacks. Three roll ones, twos to hit, and he's all wound. Yep, so all that plus two double damages. I want to say you killed the squad, but I don't know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, yeah, fifteen six, guys. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You've killed eleven. Okay. So far. Right. And then the two double damage. Yep. First one. Twelve. Rerolling for the Necrosius. Dead. So twelve. Yep. You killed twelve. Twelve are dead. So there's two left. Yep. Or three left. Oh, there's yeah. fifteen left? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said there was fourteen. I think I counted fifteen. Oh. All right. Well, All I'm right. taking them away from those Nurglings. Yeah. They weren't engaged. Oh, they weren't? Was. No. I figured I felt, everything charged. Yeah, I fell back. Okay, well that was good. Yeah. Uh, and I said you killed 12. It's pretty good. That unit, uh, my blood letters are still at 29 models. Uh, so, so far so good with the charges here. We'll go back to the overhead for a moment while we figure out the next situation. Uh, next, we have to choose a unit that has not uh, charged because everybody else has fought. So we're going to be over here. Yep. 
And we're going to swing on everything else I can. So, a little pile in. Looks like everybody will get to fight. And some are going to get way more overkill than they need. So, these poxwalkers here, they're going to have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 models on them. And then the one Nurgling base will have four, five, six, seven, eight models. Okay. Uh, they do not get plus one because they did not charge this turn. So eight and 14 is the total. Sounds good. Here's the eight into the Nurgling. Uh, threes to hit. Or uh, this unit, I think this unit's still above uh, 20. They should be. I only yeah. six. Yeah. So twos. Uh, Reroll ones is not nearby. No. Uh, no Demon Prince or anything. Okay. And then strength six right now. Is this is the Nurgling? Or strength five, actually. So threes. Or twos. Threes. This is, this is the Nurgling. Yeah, Nurgling. Twos. Yeah, the twos. Okay. And uh, two of those are double damage. Yep. So the non doubles. Five up. Feel no pain. We take one damage so far. Okay. Come on. Take uh, one of these. Made one. He's down to one wound. Because uh, he had three. He had a full health. Yeah, okay. a full health one. Dang, he should have died. Uh, then the 14 others. I'm keeping you stuck here, man. Yeah. Four, Tar pit nerdlings. 12, 14. Twos. And strength five, need threes. All right, here's your pox walkers. You got a All bunch right. of double damages. That's the same of both. Yeah. Five up. Save two. There's uh, two left. You can do this, guys. One's good. One's dead. Two dead. All right, they're all dead. Sweet. But that Nurgling's keeping you stuck. Yep. All right, I'll consolidate my three inches to maximize my movements. To maximize how many Nurglings you're killing? Right. Got my way, Nurglings. Get these movement trays out of here. Uh, okay, so that happened. You fight back with your stuff. Yeah. All righty. My stuff. Oh, we got Apocalypse four four six hosting us too. You guys are so nice today. Uh, Typhus will go. Four hits and four wounds. All right, so I'll take my five up saves. Wow, quad quad ones. So four die. So that unit has at twenty five left now. Uh, twenty four. I killed one earlier. Okay. Uh, in Overwatch. Right. Uh, uh, well, that put me at 29. I just lost four more, so I'm at 25, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Necrosius. It's four hits. And uh, it's a plague weapon. That is three more wounds from Necrosius. Okay, five ups. Save one, take two more. I'm at 23. Time for the Pox Walkers to do what they do best. Get models back. <laughs> So they hope. Yeah. There. They're over there. Yep. Only uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are going to be able to swing. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, that was really good. That was a really good roll. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. That is nine wounds. I wish my sixes did extra stuff. <laughs> I saved lots. Four. Yeah, four die. So there's still, uh, that puts them right at 20. But I got three more that can swing at you. Yep. Now, do you gain, uh, you gain full uh, Pox Warriors back? No, because I think the squad's at full health still. Oh, wow. That works for me. That squad of three over there. Oh, took one, two, one hit from them. 
No wound. Oh, wow. That would have dropped me below. And uh, let me double check uh, Typhus's Warlord trait. Because I think every enemy unit from an inch of him takes a mortal wound on a 4+. plus. That sounds about right. It's not as good as Mortarion's little bubble of... Bubble of pain. <laughs> of doing a lot of pain. Right. Typhus has Living Plague. Enemy, enemy units within 3 inches on a 4-up. Okay. So on a 4-up, new. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend 3 CP to fight again. With who? Uh, these blood letters that are all engaged with your characters and everything. Okay. So I go from 8 to 5. And we're going to pile in if we are able. Get a little bit this way. These guys are all engaged. That's stuck. That's stuck. Come on, guys. Don't be a pointy bastard. All right, so this guy could go that way and fight Poxwalker. So checking out the scene here, Typhus is going to get two, four, six. And then I'm going to give two, three into the other character. Okay. So six and three, and then the Poxwalkers themselves, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Poxwalkers cool. getting eight, six, and three, right? Eight, six, yep. three. Okay. So here's the eight, the six, and the three. Okay. So we're going to start out with the eight into Typhus, which is going to be eight uh, times three, 24 attacks. Because of Scarbrand. So good. Four, eight. Hey, he needs to die. <laughs> 12, 16, 20, 22, 23, 24. Twos. Reroll ones. And this is into the Poxwalkers? Uh, this is into uh, Typhus. Typhus. Okay. He should die. These all hit. And strength six, looking for threes. Oof, a bunch of low numbers. Okay, the sixes are all double damage, and they're also crimson crowns. I rolled, knocked one over. So let me uh, roll some additional attacks real quick. Uh, two, four, six, twos, threes, that many additional. Four up. You should die here. I killed four of them. Yep. So far. You only got Did two wounds left. Was that one already there? Ah, eh, you're good. I got two wounds left, you should be all right. And he dies. Yep. Down goes Typhus. Wonderful. And then we're going to do the three into the other character that's alive, which is nine attacks. That's okay. Corn's frowning on you for uh, retreating over here with these other blood letters. <laughs> Reroll ones because Raging Carnate. And then looking for threes because I'm strength six for being Corn that charged plus my Herald. Uh, so I needed threes there. The six mm -hmm. is Crimson Crown. Fails to hit. Rerolls ones though. And looking for a three. Okay, so you got one that's double damage and three regs. Four of them save. They have two of them. He only has two left, right? Whoop. He has uh, one left, I believe. Oh, okay. So you need uh, two five-ups here. <laughs> wow, everything's just going wrong. <laughs> okay. Dead. So that takes care of that. Killed both my psychers. And then we have uh, six left into the pox walkers. Three, six, that's uh, 18 attacks. This is just nasty, man. Yeah, blood letters are gross. I'm liking this uh, list. Why is every other... Uh, like regular infantry demons suck. Right? No so one else one, is two. just good at close combat. That maxes out your headhunter, by the way. Yeah. Twos into the Poxwalker. Reroll ones because Rage Incarnate. All hit. Sixes are exploding and double damage. So we get three Crimson Crowns. These are Poxwalkers. I'm strength six. You are. Our squad of Poxwalkers. Your characters are the dead. Small one? Yeah. Yeah. Do, do so you win on two, uh, twos. Twos. Okay. Six. Yeah. Let me get rid of the ones. And then I got three Crimsons. Three were ones. Twos to hit. Six. Okay. Those were Crimson Crowns. So those are double damages, though. Yeah. Cool. Uh. Is it the small squad over yeah. there? Yeah. All right, well, they're dead. Yeah. That was a really good roll. It was. But they're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That happened. All right. So that squad is How free. How units have you killed? You've killed one. There's two left, so you've killed four. That maxes out your Reaper. Yes. 
And I don't I don't remember allocating anywhere on these other guys, so you're good. Uh, I will consolidate towards the enemy. Alrighty. That is everything, man. Uh, did you fight with your one little Nurgling over there? I did not. Go ahead. Let's kill a little guy. Oh, you mean inch away from the Two hits? Yep. One wound. Nope. Lose one. All right. So, now we're ready to uh, tally. I was able to kill more. Yep. I've been keeping track this whole time. Cool. So, uh... You maxed out Reaper, Headhunter, and you got uh, three points this turn for hold yeah. one, kill, kill more. Cool. And uh, I got hold. And kill. And hold and kill. Yep. yep. Don't oh. hold more yet. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. Well, a lot of my army revolves around holding more. Yeah. The uh, the blood letters can knock you, knock you back for sure. Well, uh, this is a, a potent situation here. Uh, we're going to be moving into turn three, Death Guard. Cool, man. You, my name is Diego Montoria. <laughs> Beware of that. Killed my father. Yeah. Prepare to die. <laughs> Sounds good. But that's my movement phase. <laughs> the, uh, the pox bringers in a chasm of pestilence on those plague bearers. You got it off on a nine. All right. If you want to go smoke, we can wait. No, uh, no, you, it's uh, fine. Uh, you did, you did a power. Yeah, but I'm all the way back. Okay, you're good then. So they're minus two to hit now. Okay. Fair. So you'll be hitting me on fours. Nice. Uh. Yeah, assault phase. <laughs> assault uh, phase. The is charging you. All right, you got it. Come on in. Back it up. I made a medal. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Is there any other charges? You even want to fall back with those guys or anything? Those poxwalkers? I mean, I could. I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I might as well fall back. There's no sense not to. That way they're not just getting mulched this turn. And they're already at full health, so. Yeah. Although, if I stay in combat, I can bring you down below 20. Yeah. Yeah. No. No sense not to. Screw it. We're doing the Demon Prince first, obviously. All right, so we're going to stay engaged. Cool. Yeah. I want to get you down below 20. What if I just override combat, though, and wipe them all? You can't. Can you? Yeah. As soon as you fight me with the Demon Prince, I override and then kill them all. I mean, you could. <laughs> yeah, I think I just might, even. <laughs> it might happen. It might not. It might very well Either happen. Either way, you're swinging first. It might very well happen. I'm worried about you. <laughs> about what? Those pox They're weak now. Yeah, those zombies. They don't pose a threat. They're going to get wrecked. All right, cool. So it's uh, your chance to slay my demon prince. The epic confrontation of the unicorn. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, hitting on twos. Yep. Rerolling ones. Awesome. Uh, I'm strength seven, so threes. Yep. Five wounds. Minus two. Uh, fives. Weird. Okay. That's not great. Three go, uh, do not go through. And then uh, two damage piece, so four. Yep. All right, I'll fight back just to knock it out. I'm gonna actually override combat with my blood letters, but because camera's here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. 
So I got five for being a Demon Prince of Corn, one for being charged. I'm gonna say that I'm just out of range of Scarbrand this time. And looking for twos. Three rolling ones. Cool. And then uh, looking for threes. Okay, that many saves. Four up, or five up. Yep. Two go through. I'm gonna man point one of those. Two go All right, through. All right, well, that sucks. D6s. I was dead. dead. <laughs> wow. Skull Reaver just took another head. All right, so now we're overriding combat. We're down to three CP, and we're gonna fight with these blood letters versus your uh, remaining pox walkers there. And we're gonna pile in. A pox walker less does, does better against your orcs than it does against blood letters. What is this? I know, right? It's craziness. It's craziness. All right, so we actually all can fight. There's 20 left. Yep. So, so it's uh, uh, 60 attacks because of Scarbrand. Oh no, you did not charge me this turn. No, so we're just I, the so only 40 attacks. That's a big difference. <laughs> right. Four, eight, nine, ten. Five, ten. Here's 20. Looking for twos. Three rolling ones because of the Crimson Crown. Or I'm sorry, uh, Rage Incarnate, my Warlord trait. All right, so first all 20 hit off the bat. Go ahead and roll the next set of 20. Rolling ones. That is so good. Okay, so 30, 39 hits. Yeah. And then uh, strength six against toughness three, or I'm strength five because I didn't charge this turn. Yep. So uh, you can do on threes. Threes. Here's the first set. Check this out real quick. So we got two from Crimson Crown and two that are double damage. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll just do this first. And so go ahead and roll that real quick. I got 19 more to go. I saved two, so that's five, eight that die so far. Okay. And the two double damage. Yeah, here's the uh, Crimson Crown re uh, additional tax uh, reroll ones. That's another wound to save. Failed that, cool. so that kills nine. Okay. And double wounds, dead, Ten. 11. 11, and then another 20 wounds to roll, 19 wounds to roll. Yep. Threes. Sixes are double damage with Crimson Crown. Uh, so we get another three attacks from that. We roll ones. Roll wound. Cool. They that many wounds. So you got that many regulars and three double damages. Cool. So lose five more. Yep. And double damage. One dead. Two dead, three dead. So I lose a total of eight. On Down top. to one. Okay. Okay. So I killed 19, huh? Yeah. Wow. Good thing I'm fearless. So he gets one to fight back with. Oh, and he's going to get two models back. Mm. I'm confident in him. Are you thinking... You're gonna nail both hits and wounds, huh? Yeah. And no saves. No <laughs> saves. <laughs> I hope you get really hot, and then your dice are gonna just burn out. I hope you get it, bud. Oh no, I'm right out, right out the gate, real bad. No wounds. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go to the overhead, and that was your turn three. Yeah. Um, I'm good on leadership over there. Uh, Nurgling. Yeah, yeah. Let's, I'm just going to pick him up. <laughs> cool. But you get four attacks still. Oh, well, yeah. I get to choose him to fight. Yeah. One hit. One wound. No wound. Need the five. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then you pick him up. I will consolidate after the pickup. Make old three inch scoots. Okay, so we're going to turn three corn. Yep. We'll start out with this unit I'm uh, messing with right now. I think that, blood, that uh, Demon Prince is the only brave corn champion here. <laughs> Everybody else has been weak. Hiding behind their horde. Maybe Scarbrand feels like fighting soon ish. 
<laughs> He's kind of liking this whole just stand back and watch everyone else collect skulls. Even zombie skulls. That doesn't sound like Scarbrand. <laughs> it is today. <laughs> uh, we're going to move up six. We're going to move up six. I think this is just going to be a big old slugfest. Oh yeah, these guys not doing anything for me now. What else? We're going to advance with that unit. Cool. Going in an additional three. Go get these Nurglings in range of that objective. Oh shit, that one poxwalker, I can't move these guys. Well, you nullified a whole unit to fight one poxwalker, that's good. That is annoying. What is? That one poxwalker stopping all 20 of these guys from moving anywhere. That's aggravating. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, but I can't complain after the success of this uh, game I've had. Yeah. I've gotten lucky. Yeah, your dice has been on fire. Yeah. Plus there's all those attacks. a shit ton of attacks. Just yeah. weight of dice. Scarbrand, That's how you beat Nurgle, though. Weight of dice? Yeah. Scarbrand getting to run rampant is just not healthy. Uh, so we're going to go up here. We'll have uh, Scarbrand go up. Okay. We'll have these guys go get the objective. Cool. All right, everybody's happy. We're going to go to the charge phase. We'll have these blood letters over here. They're going to charge the uh, plague bears and the nurgling. Okay. Get a seven with a plus one that's eight. Yeah, nurgle terrain. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll engage a few of these guys. Doing things, doing things. We're gonna have my uh, Demon Prince with the Skull Reaver. He's gonna charge the Nurglings. Okay. Because why not? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh. All right, and then these will charge the Plague Bears and the Nurglings. Get a double one. Uh, we're going to reroll charges with our uh, Herald there for being pure corn. Uh, going eight. So eight is going to take us to the Plague Bears. So this is working out well, man. Yeah. I didn't realize uh, blood letters were that good. Yeah, when you buff them with all these buffs, they I get... thought they had like one attack base. Or they only they only do have one attack base. Yeah, until they. So without Scarbrand and. Uh... Then the corn rule gives them two most of the time. Uh, so that is all of my charges. We are ready for the party. Double check them. Got what I need there. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let us fight. We're going to first uh, take this charging unit and we will fight the Plague Bears and Nurglings. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 on the Plague Bears here. Okay. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 on the Nurglings. And you'll be hitting the Plague Bears on 4s. Okay. So 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 
10, 11. They're not within range of Scarbrand. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. What they do got going on for them is uh, the old, uh, they got plus two to their right now because they're above 20 and this guy, but I actually stayed out of, I messed up again. Damn, Horus. I could have uh, I could have had plus two. Would have been yeah. great. Would have been great. Uh, but I did not put the skull taker within range. So minus one, plus one, minus two, minus plus two. one. Yep. So I go from twos to fours to threes. Yep. Is that what you? Because you were saying fours, but it's actually yeah. threes. Because I'm twos to hip, going to fours plus three. No way. Well, you're twos to hit on yeah, the charge. Yeah, and then it's fours. And then yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. I was okay. going off of minusing. You're, from you're two. right. You're right. Uh, no re rolls. Uh, right now, oh, the Demon Prince within range for reroll once, so I'll get to do that. Cool. Need fours total, so all these go away. And then I'm looking for your toughness four or toughness five? Four. Toughness four. Yeah. So I need, um, I'm strength. Threes. Yeah. Okay, not in range of the Crimson Crown, but sixes do do double damage. So these are doubles. Two goes away. All right, those are your five ups. And followed by five ups. Five ups. Save two. Yep. Five ups. So you killed four so far. Okay. And then these are the double damage ones. Five ups. Failed all three of those. One, two, three. Cool, so you killed a total of uh, six. Okay. And the guys into the Nurglings. Six, eight, nine, three, six, nine, three, six, nine. Uh, Nurglings, I'll be twos. Three roll ones because the Demon Prince. Okay, and then strength six right now. So twos. All right, sixes are double damage. There you go. And this into the other ones? Yeah. That's uh, one base and one extra wound. So you killed uh, one base and one base is down to one wound. Do you wish to override combat? No. All right. I'll continue. So this other unit of blood letters here, engaged in both. We're going to do two, four, six, seven into the Nurglings and three into the Plague Bearers. This time they do have three attacks apiece. So seven into the Nurglings will be 21 attacks. Have you played a miniature game before? Saying, I have 2004, I'll never buy any more again. We roll ones, right? All those do fine. And then strength six is the Nurgling, so twos. Pick up the dice and get rid of the ones. Sixes are Crimson Crown. Those hit. And that. All right, so you got three that are double damage and then all those. Got faith in you, Nurglings. Yeah. Nice. So you killed that base, and the other one's down to one. Okay, and then you got three double damages. Oh, got him. Command point. Okay. No, nope, nope. he's dead. Sorry, little buddy. I tried to save you. Got him. Nurglings are my favorite demon in the uh, 40k You sure you didn't flight. want to save that CP? I still have the demon prince to fight, too. What's he fight? Oh, yeah, true. You might as well just save that yeah. CP. All right. <laughs> I forgot the demon prince was there. <laughs> and then we still have uh, three more bodies on the uh, plague bearers there. So three, six, nine attacks. Twos. Three roll ones. And threes. Okay, you got three that are up, oh, Crimson Crown. Here you go once. Okay, you got four that are double damage, three regs. 
Wow, that sucked. Okay, two die. Two die so, so far. It's been eight total. Uh, I think it, let's. I, I, this is stupid, but I didn't give you your plus, your minus two to hit. <laughs> yeah. So fours. Reroll once. All right. So now, now I'm looking for threes. There you go. Okay. All right, one dice. Oh, well, then five up. Yeah. No, there one you go. One dice. So you lost seven total for the round. All right, swinging back at you. Yep. All right, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to swing into that squad? Yep. Six attacks. Sixes generate more. Not a single six, though. Mm. Two wounds. Oh, it's plague weapon. Three wounds. Save one, two die. Okay. And then five from the uh, other end. Yep. Four hits. Two wounds. Two die. From the other squad. All right. Um, I don't think I. It's about to be your turn next. Yeah. I'm out of range. I'm gonna save my three CP still. All right. So that unit over there is fine on leadership. This unit over here, I think you took out a couple. I took out uh, two over there. Two over there. So a six would lose another wound. I roll a one though. So D six come back. And I roll three. So three more blood letters come back because reality blinks. That's gross. Yeah. Okay, so that is gonna sum up turn three there. Jump back to the overhead. I think I may have to call it there. Yeah. I got less than 40 models left on the table. Yeah, I think I pretty much overran you at this point. And uh, you're hold you have more models there holding that one. Yeah. So. Actually, we'll get the bonus this yeah, time. So, whew, good game. Good game, man. That was wild and crazy. I was uh, glad to see this new list in action, and uh, I did. You know, like <laughs> you're not gonna see against corn demons. Right. This list isn't that great. Right. But you don't see this very often either. Yeah. No. Right. Pretty uncommon situation. Scarbrand on the board is uncommon. You know, a big, uh, big gun line. A lot of people play corn demons. Right. Big gun line of tanks. Scarbrand be out of there easy. Uh, yeah. Well, if I play a big gun line of tanks, it's like, okay, I'm just going to walk up the board, you'll kill a couple pox walkers. I've totally been stuck by your list before, so... Yeah, because when I played your orcs, yeah. the pox walkers just swarmed over them. Yeah. The heavy amount of attacks with the uh, the double yeah, damage is... too many. Yeah. It was not failing morales because of Scarbrand. It was just all around a, a tough thing to deal with. Yeah, Monkey84, I took care of it this time around. The uh, We're calling it at the end of three. I've got a ton of points. I really like my list a lot. If you guys come this Saturday to our tournament here at Battlegrounds, Battle in the Warp Tournament uh, League, mm, tournament number three out of six, yeah. uh, then you can- I'm finishing first. <laughs> you can take on Hagen or you can take on me. I'm going for most mediocre, looking for that dead middle prize. We give out- uh, Oh, I won most mediocre last time right. Chris. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Uh, but we hope to see you guys come out. I hope you guys enjoyed the bat rep. Uh, and the final score was 22 to 8. Nice, when we when we went ahead and called it. Uh, Got to say big thanks to Corn's Champion for bringing on that huge raid of 55 viewers at one point. That was nuts. Uh, never happened before. And then we had a, a Apox448. He took care of us with some hosting as well. Thanks, guys, for the love there. Zorath, thanks for tuning in. Good God brings in the crowd. Right? MonkeyJ84, you know, I will appreciate you out there. James, you guys keep taking fun seriously. We'll catch you next time. Peace.